Hello everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. I'm your host as always, Mr. G, and today we're talking about the shark that ate whales. So, without further ado, I give you the one and only Megalodon. Megalodon means big tooth, and it was a member of the extinct shark group o Otodonte. It was a carnivore like basically every single other shark and it lived during the mid-neogene throughout the oceans of the world. Megalodon was huge, with current estimates placing it around 60 feet long, which would make it the largest shark that ever lived, completely dwarfing the current biggest shark, whale shark, by a pretty good amount. Megalodon's teeth were the size of a human hand, and its jaws could fit several people inside at once. Megalodon's diet consisted mostly of whales, which during Megalodon's time were a lot smaller. In fact, some scientists think that the only reason whales got to the size they're at now was because of Megalodon's extinction meant that they no longer needed to be small and fast to evade predators. Since Megalodon is only known from its teeth, we have no idea what its body shape was. Currently, the most common theories is that, are that it either looked like an upscaled great white, a predatory basking shark, or an upscaled sand tiger shark. However, due to the fact that cartilage rots a lot easier than bone and shark fossils in general are pretty rare except for teeth, we may never know what Megalodon truly looked like. Another mystery about Megalodon is how it went extinct. For the longest time, it was believed that the Ice Age caused whales to go up north or Megalodon couldn't follow, and thus it slowly died out. However, nowadays, the most popular explanation is that great whites and orcas ended up replacing Megalodon, which caused Megalodon to end up starving to death because it couldn't hunt as well as them. Alright, I really hate that we have to talk about this, but it's kind of unavoidable when talking about Megalodon, so let's just get it out of the way. Is Megalodon still alive? No. The answer is no. Like, no. It, it's not. No, I refuse to elaborate on this. It is not alive. There is zero evidence that it's alive, and anything that says otherwise is probably just another misidentified shark species by people who don't know they're sharks. So I dare you to find me an irrefutable piece of Megalodon being alive. Oh, and don't say, oh, it just went to the Mariana Trench because there's no evidence of that either. Plus, what would it even eat down there? It was a 60-foot-long shark. Do you think it's just going to eat those tiny football-sized anglerfish for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I mean, seriously, I forgot. I could go on a tangent for about an hour about Megalodon, but in the sake of keeping this video brief, I won't. <sighs> well, now that I got that on my system, let's look at its card. Okay, first of all, who decided to give Megalodon that color? It looks like it's covered in algae. Secondly, the way its mouth is hanging open makes it look like it just heard a question it doesn't know the answer to. Also, the card claims that Megalodon was Great White's ancestor, which is a theory that has been discredited, as well as the Ice Age Whale theory, which has also been discredited. It also refers to it with its old genus name of Cacarodon, when nowadays its genus is Ododus. So if all those outdated things, I give this thing a 5 out of 10. You know what time it is? It's time for Megalodon's appearances in pop culture. Megalodon is the star of the book series called Meg, which, is, which details Megalodon as well as several other extinct sea creatures that having survived into the modern day. The first book was, ad was adapted in 2018 into a movie called The Meg, which deals with the similar premise. Megalodon appears in the mobile game Jurassic Park Builder as well as Jurassic World the game. Megalodon also appears as a tameable animal in the video game Ark Survival Evolved. In 2013, the Discovery Channel aired a pseudo-documentary called Megalodon the Monster Shark Lives, and this documentary is the reason why so many people think Megalodon is still alive. Since in the documentary, they brought in a bunch of actors pretending to be shark experts, basically claiming that Megalodon is still alive out there. I hate this documentary because of its effects it had on Megalodon. Because of this documentary, there are so many people out there who think Megalodon's alive that it honestly drives me crazy. And the documentary does such a does such a terrible job at establishing the fact that it's a fictional documentary because there's only one tiny disclaimer that can be easily missed if you're not paying attention. So way to go, Discovery Channel. You have officially made Megalodon an annoying subject to talk about. And finally, Megalodon is the star of like a billion different cheesy B-movies. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me next time when I talk about good old Mr. Three-Horned Face. Bye!